Hey everyone, this is Good Money Store coming back with part two of my Friday night video. These are items that I've got from the Dollar Tree and well one bag is from the Dollar Tree. The other bag is from a little shop uh, not far from my house. It's called Trends. Um, I'll tell you about that in a few. But um, let me finish off. Let me finish off this little haul from the Dollar Tree. I needed, I actually thought I got, I did. I got two of these, which are good for sending out uh, little items in the mail to some of my subscribers. And so I got me two of these bags, which is good for a dollar. And who is that by? Who are these by? It's called X Pack, the Ultimate Mailer. That's who these are by. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you about. Wait a minute. Oh. And I got. I saw these and I didn't buy them the first time. I don't think I did. I can't remember. But anyway, I saw these and I thought I need to. I need to get these because somewhere I'm going to fit them in. And it was this plaque that says love. And they're pretty sturdy. Pretty sturdy. And you know, these would be really easy to make if you were a track crafter. Because they're open in the back. They don't really have anything where you can hang them, per se. So you might need to find something you could put there to grasp it. Or if you're going to just sit it on a table, then you don't need that. But this is, I think it's pretty good quality. And this one says love. And this one says hooray. And again, they're open in the back. But they're really nicely made, guys. And so, I don't know, I debated on getting these. But I finally decided they were worth the buy. And then I got these door stoppers because I need those downstairs in the basement for my storage room door. Sometimes that door shuts on me and I don't like that. Sorry about the shaking guys. I gotta find a more sturdier table if I'm gonna be filming out here. Okay, I went to a store in our neighborhood which is called City Trends. And it's mostly for younger, younger people. But I thought I wanted some nice loose fitting pants and I thought you know what they probably got them there which they did which they did but I'm going to tell you something about the clothing in the store it's very cheaply made and you, you can just tell it I tried on some pants and I thought no no I'm, I'm not going to spend this and it's reasonable. Honestly, it's reasonable. But, but I didn't like the quality of their merchandise. Now, the shoes, on the other hand, I did. So, I got me some summer shoes. Like, I really need some shoes. But they were so cute. And the price was so right. I went ahead and I got these. Now, I like them. You may not like them, but I like them. So, I got these. Um... These, who are these by? It doesn't really, oh, yes it does. These are by a uh, company called Soda. But these are what the shoes look like. And I really did like them. And they were $12.99. So I was willing to spend this. They were comfortable. And I could walk in them without having a problem. So... These are my summer shoes, and I probably will wear these when we go on our little trip to Missouri. And then these are just some casual walk-around flip-flop shoes, and I like them because they have the um, jean material across them. Oops. And this is what they look like. So, and these are by a company called Sleepwear. And they were five bucks. That's how much those were. So I got those. And finally, Juliana's been crying about 
a hair accessory that has cat ears on it and I found these for her and they were $1.49 cat ears you walk right at your waist mm -hmm. get those off the floor and then finally I got me some I thought pretty nice sunglasses which I simply I have gotten so many sunglasses it's ridiculous but these were $3.99 and again, these are compared to $8 glasses from City Trend. I don't know if anybody's heard of this in your city, but that's the name of it. And these are what these glasses look like. I simply love them. I love the gold around the end and uh, the leopard on that. I thought that was cute. And that's what it looks like on the side. And then I got these. These were $2.99. And I love the little trim they have like right there. And this is what these look like. The bigger the glasses, the better. They look like a bug. But I love those. And finally, I got these, which were $3.49. And these are what these look like. So, I'll have, and you know, the good thing about it, since I did have that surgery, used to be, which it was the craziest thing, I would put my glasses on and then I would put the pair of sunglasses on them. Sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't, but it would be so crazy. But, I could see and it looked nice. So, this summer, well, last summer, last summer I could because I had that surgery done in, April of last year and the second one I had done in May so I was able to wear the sunglasses but that is my haul I do believe for this Friday it has been a marvelous Friday uh, glad work is over glad I got a day because I called it a day off and as I said I'm gonna I think I'm gonna work on my porch tomorrow Libby will be here It'll be nice so I can kind of let her play out in the front yard and have a little fun. And then hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll start getting that back fixed up again. Uh, get stuff pulled out of the garage. Get my patio table out and wash down the cushions to the chairs and things. And if all goes well, I'll start working part-time uh, the 1st of June kind of really looking forward to that so my hours will go from seven to three to seven to one which is still to me full time but I'll be able to spend some time uh, during the day with Jules and Olivia so um, I hope you guys all have a most awesome weekend I hope wherever you are that the weather has change and it's getting better and you're preparing for some wonderful summer memories i'm looking at my yard and i know i'm gonna have to pull that lawnmower out pretty soon and start cutting grass not me uh -huh. it's either my son or my um my cousin you know my skin i have really got to work on my skin it is so so dry and um I need to start cleansing it better. I put steam on it. This is crazy. This is what I do. I get really hot water. And then I get a towel and I put my face, I'll put the towel over my head and put that, let that steam just get all over my face. Uh, but first, before I do all that, I will take, I know this is horrible. This is country. Call me country. I will get some thread. And literally, I take that thread and I just go over my face, under my cheek. And it brings up all that dead skin. And then I will um, take an alcohol swipe, clean it, get that water, um, and put it over. And actually, I should get some of that Vicks so it can clean up my sinuses too. Come back, then I wash my face really, really good. And it does pretty good. And I've got some of those black nose strip things I'm going to start using again. I have just seriously gotten lazy about taking care of my face and my hands. There's, it just takes effort. 
and you need to take effort to take care of yourself because if you don't nobody else will but I know one thing I'm probably not going to do for a long while I went and had a manicure and a pedicure about two months now ago and I tell you what I don't know what they do to your fingernails or what they put on them but my nails have been more uh, those ridges in your nails and my nails have been more brittle and my nails they were not great but they were not that bad and I noticed that since that happened my nails and I don't know I don't know I don't know what they put on it but I didn't like it so I said you know what I can do my own nails I have all the stuff here to do it and so that's what I'm gonna do I can save the money I would go to the uh, place and have that done I've got where I bought my mother this uh, thing for your feet to soak your feet and stuff I got that and so I said I'm pulling that thing out I'm gonna put some water in it let it massage my feet and everything and I'm gonna work on me I'm gonna work on me guys you know summer comes around and I just don't like going out looking halfway especially when it comes to my feet I, I don't know I got to think about my feet I don't want nobody looking down at my feet and my feet look like crud I just, it's just me I don't know if you call that a I don't know what you call it I just call it being very conscious of how I go out with my feet sticking out so uh, with that I am gonna let you guys go and we're gonna chill out here on this porch you guys we just gonna chill me Juliana and Sayla we gonna chill so uh, thumbs up thumbs down Hit subscription button. Be blessed. I pray blessings on your weekend. I cover you under the blood of Jesus that you be safe during this weekend and that you have the most enjoyable, blessed weekend. And just realize who allows you to enjoy these weekends. Just remember, it's nothing you do in yourself, but it's by the grace and mercy of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ that allows you to breathe in and breathe out. So with that, be blessed, praying for you, and God loves you. Bye-bye.